Good morning, everybody. It is uh, late September. The season's coming to a close here at the end of this week. And we're set up on another cut cornfield. We're uh, kind of in the same situation we were in yesterday morning where there wasn't necessarily uh, birds here last night, but they've been in the field uh, on and off since it's been chopped. And we can hunt, so we're gonna hunt. We got a pretty good crew here. We got the Odell clan with us. We've got a bunch of uh, exceptional shooters right there in the middle. And uh, super cold this morning, we had a hard frost. And we're running uh, 20 dozen dive bomb silhouettes. And then we got these, uh, whatever Zane wants to call them. Socks. <laughs> these goose socks right here next to the blind. They stand a little taller so they help hide the blinds a little bit. I don't know if it works or not, but that uh, sounds good to say that. So that's what we'll say. We're not really experts at this, we just enjoy doing it, and every once in a while we get lucky and shoot a few geese. What do you, you got anything else you want to add to the interview here, Brock? Other than, are you cold? No, I am I got three pairs of long johns on, I'm good. <laughs> I'm ready for the morning flight. Me too. We'll turn you on when the geese start flying. <laughs> Sun's not. I gotta get my gun loaded before I... Well, we had our first uh, five pack come in and we mopped them all up. They're right here in Brock and I's uh, bread and butter. Unfortunately, my GoPro, I didn't get that on, but it happened, they're here. There should be more to come. Happening. I'm holding the damn trigger today. I knew that was happening. 
Yep, yeah, we'll we'll watch for geese while they're shooting pigeons. Oh, they just got up. Well, it's been uh, pretty slow here. We haven't had any other birds come in. We shot five this morning, but Brock's got buck and banner and just walked a really long ways with a couple dead geese. And I set one down here at like 250 and then the other one's gotta be close to 300 right out there on the hedgerow. Brock, tell us a little bit how the dogs do this. And Well, there's no better training than a controlled environment you know, while you're hunting. So when the hunting's slow, like it is today, you make the most of your hunt. Even though the dogs are considered senior hunting dogs, it's still never a, a bad time to do a tune-up blind, especially with the way the wind is today. It's actually a true blind. They're not using the wind to their advantage and I actually have to put them on the bird. So we'll uh, try and give them a little fake scenario. I'll let off a shot ring and they uh, they make the connection of shot goes off, it's time to find a bird, so. I, Brock had the dogs looking the other way when I placed the geese out there too, so they don't, right Brock? They didn't see. They didn't see anything, they, they didn't know. No idea. Ah! Oh, he sees it. <laughs> He's running like us on a gun. I love, I love, love it whenever he gets to a bird, he stops and looks back. Oh, yeah. yeah, I know. Like, yep. You guys want me You're to watching me, right? As far as a, as, a, as a dog deal, that built all of his confidence to just take the cast. They have to learn to, to trust what you're telling them as far as a cast goes. a boy. That a boy. Mouth full of feathers. Come on. Yeah. Come on. This is him showing off, just strutting. That's a wrap, folks. You win some, you lose some. We killed a few geese, enough to feed the Odell family tonight, so that's yeah. good. <laughs>